am going to use non-toxic um, moisturizer on little Sparky. I do not believe in the Vitacel at all. Um, I believe only in non-toxic stuff for myself, and this is aloe vera. Now, you, you can see the way his carapace is, his shell is. So, I am going to basically, I'm going to rub some aloe vera on my hands. The purpose of this is to um, show you a non-toxic way. What you need to do is really look at those ingredients. And um, there's so much junk in it that, um, you want some of that? How's that? You want some aloe vera? Hmm? You're going to need some aloe vera. The better choice is you um, let them, you know, actually you can take and put little bits of this in their food. And it's a, uh, it's like a vitamin um, for them. It's good for them. Now why put something on your turtle and they get in the water dish and have that come out in the in the water and then drink it why on earth first of all why on earth would any vet ever ever recommend bite a shell so I say if your vet is recommending bite a shell but you need to find another vet, a vet that cares about your turtle. It's as simple as that. See, whenever you do their head, you just want to be very careful as you are coming down and just have, have your nails, fingernails away from their face. I know that this is not going to be a very good um, video. The sun is coming in, but he's he's looking shaded, so I don't know whether this is going to show up at all.
Marky's pooped. Busy day today. He wanted out. Thank you. 